This is the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for Friday, Veterans Day, November 11th, 2016. I'm Michael Groff. Very pleasant conditions out there today and tomorrow. A bit of a warm-up as we head into early next week, but the much-advertised pattern change. It's coming our way by about the middle and latter portion of next week. We'll talk about all of it and much more as we look out there this afternoon. Yes, we are at the noon hour now here in the Valley. Clear skies as far as the eye can see right now. 79 degrees at Sky Harbor. Dew point at 41. Relative humidity 26%. Wind from the southeast at 12 and the barometer is falling. Temperatures across south central Arizona and here in the metro area right now. Mainly in the mid 70s to low 80s. The warm spot appears to be out toward Glendale at 83 right now. Satellite picture shows clear skies across the state. There's an upper low still spinning across northeast Mexico, but that won't be affecting us today. Watch warning map is fairly quiet. Some wind out here in the west. Some dense fog advisories in northwest Montana. Frost and freeze advisories in Kansas and Missouri. Air quality alerts for Chattanooga and Knoxville, Tennessee. That's about all there is to talk about there. No organized areas of severe weather across the country. Some thunder possible in southern New Mexico and near the Rio Grande Valley. Otherwise, we'll look at our weather in more detail as we get out to the models. This is the GFS, the 12Z run, valid at 5 p.m. Mountain Standard Time today. There's that wave over northeast Mexico, otherwise high pressure and control out here in the west. So conditions today will be dry, mostly sunny skies and high temps this afternoon, mainly in the low 80s. Tonight, very cool. Pleasant, clear skies. We'll get down in the 50s in most spots, low 60s in the urban core tomorrow. Another sunny day. Could see some clouds start to come in by late in the afternoon and the evening hours. Um, otherwise, should be perfect. High temps in the low 80s. On Sunday, we see some high clouds moving through here uh, in association with an upper low and a short wave that passes well to our north. But overall, not going to make much of a difference in our temperatures. Highs will be in the low 80s. On Monday, the sky becomes mostly sunny again. High pressure builds in from the west. High temps low to middle 80s. On Tuesday, high pressure overhead. 588 Ridge builds back in here. Temperatures off the GFS, the latest run shows 84 for Tuesday, but I think we're going to be warmer than this. Uh, we could get up into the upper 80s in spots. Wednesday, we cool off just a little bit. We have a vigorous trough approaching from the west. Increasing winds, southwesterly winds will be picking up around here. High temperatures in the middle 80s. On Thursday, that trough passes us by to the north. It's a fairly potent system, but most of its energy stays far away from us. A few rain and snow showers possible over northern Arizona, but we will remain dry. There should be some breezy conditions around here. The most important part is temperatures will be much lower. Highs struggling to make it into the low 70s. Latest GFS showing 72 for Thursday. Could even be cooler than this, but get the idea. Much more pleasant conditions after days and weeks of above normal temperatures. And lows on Friday morning when you wake up. That's going to be the big shock too. Many of us down in the 40s. The coolest temperatures of the season thus far. 50 near the urban core. This is a week from today, Friday, November 18th, deep low over Minnesota, another deep trough off the west coast. We'll have weak ridging in place here, so temperatures will moderate a bit, low to mid-70s, still very nice though. Saturday, ridging builds in uh, across the Rockies. We'll have increasing southwesterly winds here as another trough approaches us. And high temps will be in the upper 70s to near 80. This is the end of the forecast period, Sunday, November the 20th. And look at that. Very deep trough approaching us from the west. This one is much further south than the previous system. So rainfall approaching the Southern California coast. Clouds would eventually be on the increase here. And just beyond the forecast period, we could be seeing some rain. But again, this is 10 days out. So we don't want to get too excited about it just yet. But certainly indications that the pattern is starting to change. And that's good news. Speaking of the pattern change, a lot of people ask about rainfall and when we're actually going to see some significant rainfall and a change in this weather pattern. So I thought I'd show you this. This is the European 51-member ensemble, and this goes all the way out to just about Christmas time, actually the day after Christmas. And this is the precipitation forecast through then. Now, again, you don't want to get bogged down in specifics on this. This is a 
just talking about the overall weather pattern. This is pattern recognition here. And the ensemble mean that's at the bottom of your screen there, you see this is showing that we'll see about 1.8 inches of rain between now and about Christmas. And that would certainly be above normal. So the European ensemble seems to indicate that we'll have a much wetter pattern as we head, especially toward the end of November and into December. Hopefully that verifies. Temperatures through the next 16 days or so. And we're going to be warm today through about Wednesday with readings in the low to mid 80s. And then look at that cool down by the end of next week. That looks really nice. And then that system that we're talking about at the end of the forecast period too. So conditions getting much more pleasant as we move forward. And that's a look at the Phoenix, Arizona weather discussion for today. Our next video by tomorrow morning. Thank you so much for watching and have a very pleasant Friday.